Hello everyone, I was just um, notified of something by someone who made a status update on um, Billion Network forums. There's not a, oh my god, the Forbidden Limits list is out, and this sucks, and this is great, and oh my god. There's just one simple status update stating one little thing. So I know one thing that changed in the ban list, assuming that person is correct. But when I checked, there was indeed a new Forbidden Limited list, which is effective from April 1st, I guess. We'll go into that in a second. I'm pretty sure there's already two changes on the main page, which is why I'm starting here. I started that, saw that in the eye, corner of my eye, that there were two changes, like stuff that's newly forbidden. Um, I'm just going to make this video. I'm not going to make a, uh, do a Yu-Gi-Oh! news video about this, like I've done before. It's just going to be Yu-Gi-Oh! discussion, going into it, but giving my honest opinions, because this is the first time I'm seeing that list. I just know of one card that has become limited uh, because of that status update. I don't know anything else. We are going to go straight into this. Necros is majorly powerful. I expect multiple of Necros to be hit. Cliff Forts, meh, maybe. Burning Mist, maybe. Maybe a few other minor things here and there. And in a way, I'm also very interested to see what is bumped up, like from forbidden to limited. Probably due to premium gold, I expect like this is Crush Card Virus, um, Mystical Beast Circuit, Temple of the Kings, and things like that to go to unlimited. Possibly immediately, possibly not, possibly just a limited, we'll see. But stuff will happen there. So stuff will be removed from the bin list, um, I'm pretty sure as well. So there will be more changes than <clears throat> for quite some time before. And we have like an amazingly powerful deck, and the last time we had that was like Dragon Ruler format, and then, then you had the... where the babies were gone, but you still had Dragon Rulers that were really powerful, and then they still had the, the, the Prophecy Judgment Day, that's it. Public prophecy. Anyway, let's go to the list. Forbidden. Blaster, Dragon Ruler of Infernos. Came by. Came by Redux. Came by Tempest. Came by Title. I saw that on the OCG list as well. I don't remember everything off of that list. But I saw those four on the OCG list. And the fact that they're there means that the babies will very likely go to Unlimited because they're only, they were only forbidden because these guys. And I don't see the rest anywhere on this limit on this uh, forbidden list, so they'll be gone. And I can actually see towards the fusions, so a lot of cards have been taken off this one. But I have four cards... What, are these? Really? Hmm. I don't know. They're not like any major deck. Maybe it's because number 95 and expectations of that? That definitely helps, um, like, decks that use Dragon Rulers. Like, this is still called a Dragon Ruler deck, but really, just having one of, um, each, like, big Dragon Ruler, if it's really called a Dragon Ruler deck, but, but anyway, that's a discussion for another video. The four big Dragon Rulers, forbidden. <sighs> Zen Mighty became, was it limited in OCG, I remember that one. I expect a lot of things to go off the list. I don't see a forbidden of any Necros stuff. I do expect stuff to be limited. Maybe like one forbidden, I thought. Snatch Steel. <laughs> okay. Snatch Steel was there once. I can just take Snatch Steel out of my shit old deck again. I paid a couple of euros for that. I was like, Konami's going to take it off the list. It'll at least stay off the list for a couple of formats. But nope, they felt it was too powerful. They made a mistake, possibly. Snatch deal back to forbidden. Can't buy. Well, wasted a couple of euros there. But then again, I'm pretty sure I bought it at the time. It was still a quite low price, so it wasn't that bad. I definitely didn't buy it at the hype, like when the list was just announced. Like everything that'll go off the list, like when Go Your Guardian went off the list, uh, like people were like, "Yeah, oh, I can still get Go Your Guardian for a lot." Like, I remember Necros were like 100, 100 plus euros on the website that I usually order from, but then after a week they were only like 80, 70, and like one thing that was like 70 was suddenly 25. It's really hype for like the first week, few weeks, and then it sort of dies down. And I'm also happy that that's why I didn't like buy all my Shadows, like especially the the bigger ones, like the El Shadow Fusion, the, the, sh the Fusion spells and the Fusion monsters. They're the most expensive ones together with Sinister Shadow games. Um, by having Necros be the top deck and Shadows not being played as much, the price drops slightly. I'm just waiting for it to do it a bit more before I buy anything. 
Uh, I'm, I'm really rambling on, but then again, I like doing that. And I actually have something to talk about, probably, because stuff is happening. I expect that cross here. Ritual monsters. I expect ritual monsters on this. Sinister Serpent back. Knew that, because, well, knew that, uh, saw that coming, because um, it's one of the cards that was uh, reprinted in Premium Gold 2, Return of the Bling, with a new errata, which made it less strong. So they're probably, just to be safe, putting it at limited for now. Tour Guide, a.k.a. It used to be there before. I'm pretty sure it was similar. Was it ever limited? Pretty sure it was semi-limited at one point. Maybe for like one or two lists. And then it became unlimited again. And that, because of Burning Abyss being quite a good deck now, Tour Guide now. It could have been done like in the January format as well, but then it wasn't done. I'm surprised it's done. It's only being limited now. And right now, Burning Abyss isn't like the top deck anymore. At least that's what it's considered as. Necros Clifford are considered above them by like the general, the general competitive Yu-Gi-Oh player. But Burning Abyss is still doing well. I believe it won like a YCS at uh, at one point this format as well. So let's see what there says. Not no rituals limited here either. Where is the where are the Necros hits? Are you gonna tell me that Necros haven't been out for long enough that they're just not gonna be hit? I hope they are. I, I honestly hope they are. Because I don't want to have to learn Necros to do well at the next DNYCS. Technically, I should have learned how to play them for this DNYCS, but I've never played them during the entirety of the seven rounds of Swiss. So it's not all that bad. Very low chance I'll still top. Maybe that, then I'll very likely face him, but we'll see. Like, I'll see if I want to look into it more, depending on, like, if I make it, one. And if I do make it, uh, there, there's also always, like, a deck distribution, how many people use what. If there's a lot of Necros, I'll look into it. And I know a little bit of how it plays, but not. I, I want to know it more. If I know how to play it myself, I, I'll know how to counter it as well. Dragon Ravine back. That's uh, good for Dragonity players. Very nice. It it'll be gone. It'll be back because the big Dragon Rulers are gone. Why not immediately to unlimited though? It was the Dragon Rulers that put it there. I'm certain of it. Why just the limited? Hmm. Let me know in the comments if you have an idea. Preparation of rights. There you have the first Necros hit. Alright. What does it add? A level 7 or lower ritual from deck to hand, and then you can add a uh, ritual spell from grave to hand. The second one is great. As the second part of the effect is great. The first one is the best because you can add one to your hand, but even if you want like a higher level ritual monster, like Necros Ritual, you can just add Bryanac. Necros of Bryanac is level 6. Discard Bryanac to get Trishula to get uh, this is Varmer, whatever you want. So there is a hit on Necros, but I feel... But since there is a hit on Necros, I expect there to be more. And we're already in the spells of Limited. And pretty sure Necros doesn't have any traps. Is there anything new? Soul... No, not Soul does. Sacrifice... Um, symbol of heritage? What does that do again? Symbol of heritage. Huh. Activate only while there are three monster cards with the same name in your graveyard. Select one of those monsters, special summon it. Uh, I this may be, I, I know there's like some kind of OTK with this, but uh, I don't know. Did they see something coming? Like an OTK possibility? Like with maybe one of the new cards, like Sinister Serpent, Mystical Beast, whatever the frick, I don't know. Maybe they see something coming and are just limiting Symbol of Heritage to stop the OTK? I don't know. Um... Let me know if you have an idea why. Uh, maybe it was used in a deck that w and it worked really well, and I just don't have a clip. Temple of the Kings was forbidden. Saw that coming. Because, as I said, uh, Return of the Bling, same for Crush Cut Virus, same for Exchange of the Spirit. I can just delete my Exchange of the Spirit to OTK deck because it just doesn't work anymore. Because it also requires the opponent to have 15 cards in the grave. Ring of Destruction knew that. Skill threat. Huh. I guess that's 
good for me. Because the two decks I sort of main at the moment that I'm trying to build are Shadol and, um, um, what's it? Good Sellers. And even though I've only used them a few times, I really like Yosenju as well. And Yosenju, Shadol, Consellar, they're not hurt the most by Skill Drain, but they definitely are hit by Skill Drain. So in a way, like, I've not, I've barely ever seen Skill Drain, like, lately in competitive, like, the entire format. But anyway, this is good for my decks, because they're countered slightly less difficult. And Skill Drain is mostly used in Clifford, I'd say. So we have one Necros hit so far in um, Preparation of Rights. And then we have two hits on Clifford with um, Sacrifice and um, Skill Brain. And then we have Vanity's Empty. <laughs> Sebi! Sebi, this is your moment. <laughs> Vanity's Emptiness. There will be only one in our deck, Sebi. One Vanity's Emptiness. Now, if like I lose because of it, or you lose because of it, it'll be even more painful because you know it's the only freaking card in the deck. It, they're, they're not going to be able to have three. This is bad for Yosenju. Because Yosenju is barely ever freaking special summon. Dang it. And I was just starting to use that. I may still be able to... Yeah, I'll still be able to use Yosenju for the um, side event. Oh, do you know why he's here? Sydney's. Because that'll still be the January format. But after that's Vandy's Emptiness... We'll go down, I'll need to find a replacement. Alright, Clifford's couch. Semi. Weakening um, Clifford's a little more. Where's the Necros, though? Bryanac to Semi. <coughs> so, Bryanac only to Semi and preparation to one. Mm. She N and Church of the Light Brigade. Set will like Church of the Light Brigade because he's playing. Um, Infernoids with a few lots more cards. So this may help him. Shien. I guess I'm okay with that. I guess. Sacred Sword, Seven Stars. You can see that, because once again, it was most useful because of the big dragon rulers. And those are, like, gone now. So that happened. Brotherhood of the Fire for Spirit, no longer enlist to burn a dragon ruler of sparks. Bestiari was limited, no longer on list, so Gladiator Beasts, uh, some people will be happy with that. Gores now goes to Unlimited, because it's barely ever used. Lightning, saw that coming. Lone Fire Blossom, continuing its increase from 1 to 2 to 3. React and Stream, saw those coming. Go your Guardian. Oh, hey, Typo! 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 Semi Limited, Konami, this is fake! This typo is semi limited. What is a semi limited? What is a semi limited? And then heretic seal convocation. So, quite a lot of changes, partially because of um, Return of the Bling, in, uh, the second. Is it Gold Series? No. I forget what the, the, the name of the entire series is. Anyway, um, Big Dragon Lore is gone. Small ones back. I kind of like them. Especially Stream is really nice stats at 16 and 20 for level 4. Or level 3 even. Okay, Guardian at 3. I'm gonna go with that. Heretic Shield Convocation. It's going 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3 a lot. When is the next going to 2? 2 formats from now is my guess. If this trend keeps up. A um, few other things were hit. Clifford's were hit with 2 things. Maybe 3 things if you can't skill in. Sacrifice to 1. Um, skill to one, scout to two. Necros were hit with preparation of rights to one and Brian Eka two. I feel that even though that definitely weakens the deck, um, it's still a freaking really powerful deck and it's it should have been hit more. I feel that Necros should have been hit more. Clifford's, nah, I don't know, could be. Did it definitely hit like? some of the best cards. Bryanac is one of the best cards in Necros because you can just search for any Necros ritual monster you want. And it can even search for the one Necros ritual that you, that you can then discard to add a Necros spell. So, yeah, that, there's that. And then Preparation of Rites can search for Bryanac, which can then search for a Necros ritual monster. So, in that sense, they did take out the strong, the biggest search engine for the deck. And the same for Clifford, they took out the search engine. 
sort of, by getting Clifford Scott from 3 to 2. <coughs> and then uh, Sacrifice, which is also a searcher to 1. Also stops more of the Tribute Summoning aspect, because Sacrifice really helped with the Tribute Summoning aspect of Clifford. So that'll be unfortunate for them. I feel like um, Clifford's are no, I'm not gonna say. I I don't know Necros. I wanted to say Clifford's were hit more than Necros, but I don't know Necros too well to know how much the three preparation of Rise and three Brianak mean to them. Obviously, they were hit, and there were good hits because I know like Brianak and preparation of Rise searching into it, searching for Brianak are very useful plays. But yeah, that's the new Forbidden Limits list starting effective from April 1st, 2015. Interesting thing to note. Usually it'll say effective from let's say, well, let's take the previous list as an example. Effective from January 1st, 2015 until or will remain in effect until March 31st, 2015. Here it is, effective from April 1st. It doesn't say until when. So maybe we'll go back to half-year formats. We don't know when this format will end. So what do you think? When will this format end? Post it in the comments and discuss whatever you feel like discussing about my video about the new list. See ya.